Enrique Shaw could become the first contemporary businessman in Marine to be proclaimed a saint. He died at 41 after fighting cancer for five years. Fernand Elizal, the postulator for his cause, is in Rome to deliver the documentation that will initiate the Vatican phase of the beatification process. He didn't tell anyone he was sick, but he was dying. He battled cancer for five years, but never took medication. When the time came for his life to end, he had to have blood transfusions. About 300 workers from his main factory went to where Enric was hospitalized, where he was practically waiting to die, and they donated blood for him. Enrique grew up in Argentina. He was known for his close relationships with others, especially with his workers. He was interested in their families, was always willing to give wise advice based on the gospel, and gave Bibles to the people he knew to bring them closer to God. In an interview for Mexican television, the Pope said that Enrique Shaw was rich, but he was a saint. He managed money well, allowing those who needed help to grow. Pope Francis also recognized Enrique at this informal conversation after the general audience when someone asked about him. With perseverance, with struggle and with battle, we are advancing very well. We are finishing the Vatican phase and have a possible first miracle in the works. In the document, Gaudete et Exultate, Pope Francis explained that all people are called to be saints and that Enrique Shaw would be an example that could fit the profile of what Pope Francis calls the saints next door. I believe that he's very convinced of this. Apart from that, we believe that a holy businessman does not appear every day. I believe that it is the moment where his impulse can help. He is a model that the world needs, a model for entrepreneurs that are more just, more Christian and more human. The documents summarizing his life are already in the Vatican. Now the theologians will have to study them in order to pass their proposal on to bishops and cardinals. If there are no unexpected turns, they will propose that the Pope officially recognize his heroic virtues. However, there's no doubt that Pope Francis will accept their proposal.